Well, the weather is perfect as the second round of the Farmers Insurance Open gets underway today. I'm Virginia Chow. And I'm Jason Martinez. Things could change with rain on the horizon, though. 10 News reporter Jared Aaron's live at Torrey Pines, where one man is responsible for keeping Mother Nature at bay. At Jason, Virginia, the only reason anybody's going to need an umbrella this weekend, or today at least, is maybe to block the sun. But if the weather becomes an issue over the weekend because of rain, like what we're expecting on Sunday, I met the one man who helps the PGA Tour decide if they are going to play on or postpone. In a room the size of a putting green, Stuart Williams has his whole system set up. I have radar, I have lightning detection, satellite pictures. A birdie's eye view to make the PGA's official forecast. I'm always monitoring the radar. If something pops up, looks like it may hit us, then I can call on the radio to the officials out there. Williams works for the tour, traveling to every tournament, watching the weather. When the weather's good, it's, uh, I'm non-existent, which is a good thing because uh, everybody's happy. But this week, he has his eagle eye set on a Sunday storm. There it is, and that's potentially our heavy rain event. For Sunday afternoon and Sunday night. It could be bad enough to postpone the final round. It's still too early to tell. Either way. We'll get through it and we'll have a winner and then we'll go on to the next one. So. Now, Williams says if the storm hits heavy enough at the right time, they may have to finish the event on Monday. But he says there's no way to know until it starts raining. And now, with a look at exactly when and where all that rain will hit this weekend, here's 10 News meteorologist Megan Perry. Yeah, well, as you heard, Jared, Saturday not going to be a problem, though it is going to be cooler. The winds also pick up, which is maybe an issue for the golfers out there, but it's Sunday, and in particular, Sunday afternoon. We are expecting heavy rain at times. Temperatures also plummeting even more so on Sunday. So I'm going to show you two models right now. So this is the European, and you can see by 4.30 Sunday morning, a few light isolated showers have already dropped a few hundreds of rain. So we could see some early showers hit or miss Saturday night into Sunday morning, but the bulk of the storm comes through Sunday afternoon. Now I want to show you another model. This is the American and look at this by one o'clock. That's when we start to pick up on some light showers. Again, as far as rainfall totals go for the coast and valley areas, half an inch to an inch, but you can see we here isolated amounts higher than that are going to be possible for our mountain areas. I think this is a little bit of an underestimate, but an inch to two inches possible locally up to three inches and for our desert areas, generally less than a quarter of an inch. Not only are we dealing with rain though, cold and very strong, potentially damaging winds also accompanying this system. We're going to go ahead and talk about those in your full forecast. All right, Megan, thanks. So you can stay on top of this weekend's rain and its impact on the tournament with our 10 News mobile app. It is free in your app store.